Japan releases fully functioning female robot. In a remote village in Japan sits a conglomerate of warehouses. Security is tight and none of the local population has ever been able to venture inside the grounds of the place. What's more is most of the local population has an average age of 55 years old. So the benefit to security is doubled since this very old population has no interest of snooping around like children or young adults do. Also, the local old population is mostly women. Women tend to not be adventurous, and old women even more so. If you were adventurous, or even just curiously walked by, you'd see men speeding around in solar-powered golf carts. In fact, there seems to be a bunch of solar-powered covered buildings on the grounds, and even you might catch a glimpse of a solar-powered petal flower opening up. If you had to guess, two things should immediately come to mind. One, this place is future thinking. Two, this place wants to be off the grid. It's the second thing that is really the real answer. This company doesn't want anyone snooping around and even being off the grid removes the layer of information that a casual local official could get just by looking up the local energy records. How much energy they use. How often? When do they use it? But the place is pretty quiet. It seems the employees live on the site. Inside the warehouses, however, isn't so quiet and peaceful. There's lots of activity. In one giant warehouse, it looks like something out of a horror movie. Bodies hang everywhere. But these aren't corpses or anything of that sort. They are the parts of androids or humanoids, if you call them that. This is a robot manufacturer, but not just any robot manufacturer. This is a fully functioning female wife robot manufacturer, and this is Japan, the country that is ahead by 10 years of China. China, who wants to be the number one manufacturer of robots in the world, and who are decades ahead of the United States. For most people, they won't believe this type of place even exists, or worse, they believe that the state-of-the-art or most technologically advanced robots are made in universities. Nothing could be further from the truth. Why? Because these robots are capable of doing what other robots are not. What is that? They are capable of performing wifely duties. Not only are they capable of that, but they are even capable of carrying a child to term. Make no mistake, a full laboratory is required for the gestation period but it is not only possible, but proven. Also, the technology for a man to do this with just his own DNA and RNA has also been completely realized and proven, with actual humans nearing adulthood who this was performed on. It is because of that last paragraph that the mainstream media of both Japan and the West will never report these accomplishments. The West wants to appear to be the most advanced technologically, and no one wants to talk about adult entertainment or needs publicly. Actually, we owe a lot of technological advances, especially in technology, to the adult industry. All the way from your cell phone to the internet. Cue all the people talking about the university to the university internet. Meanwhile, testosterone levels have dropped by 60%. Men have lost actual human strength and we're headed for a collision course of negative population growth in the West. With doomsday beliefs, actual beliefs, that the planet, which is 99% empty of humans, is somehow, somehow overpopulated. Also, any mention of a recovery of men's testosterone, health issues, companionship needs is met with anger, hate, mockery by women and self-hating men. Just a basket of deplorables, as, as the term is called. It is no wonder that this company is surrounded by high walls, high tech, and fences, and no one can come in, nor can you find them on the internet. At a starting price of $345,000 USD and a medium cost of $1 million USD, the client list is by invite only and there is no layaway plan. But this is a new video, so what is new? Aha, I'm glad you asked. Let's talk about walking. There has been a dearth of activity in discovering walking, animating walking, learning how humans walk, perfecting how robots walk like humans 
to emulate the technology of walking like a human. You have companies like Boston Dynamics that you can see in the early 90s discovering walking and going full hog on making absolutely sure that their robots could actually walk. It is the pinnacle of a robot for a robot to actually be able to walk. We have so many other manufacturers around the globe and companies and private companies getting into the robot arena and the first thing that they do is make sure that they actually have a robot that actually walks. And I've told you exactly how the process of coming to this million dollar robot for a woman, a fully functioning female robot, comes about. And we have the human actress who was made into a real robot by combining exactly what I said. Animatronics, AI, makeup, prosthetics, exactly what I said they were doing in Japan. And it was so successful in England that they put the robot in a museum as a state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind robot ever made in the West. Why don't we have this in America? Because in the United States, they're beholden to the U.S. government. And the powers that be are more concerned with making money off of military means than they are with actually solving any sort of human problems, or male problems, or male health problems, or the de decline of men in the West. And when men decline in the West, the West declines. There is no such thing as a female future. In America, for good or for bad, since we're based on capitalism, most things f fall to where the money is. Contrast to Asia, where the, they routinely make grand projects and work as a team for a common goal. This is also, or was true of Africa, where you see the pyramids scattered all over the continent, not just Egypt, by the way. I say for good or for bad, but because in America some third party can come along and derail an entire project because they have money and either say go in another direction or simply buy the project and put it in a deep hole never to be seen again. For instance, there is a company that started out as a side company to supply robotic hands to various robotic companies, including military research. You can probably already guess where this is going, but you'd be wrong. Instead, they changed to making robotic animals. Bet you didn't see that coming. Contrast that to Japan, where Honda created Asimo, which could walk, go upstairs, go downstairs, run, jump, hop, play soccer, fetch drinks, serve drinks, move out of your way, bow, wave, talk, play di 10 different instruments. Meanwhile, Hanson's Robotics is an amazing people by recording a speech, putting it in a robotic-looking ugly woman face that is horrifying people, by the way, with the uncanny valley, with zero artificial intelligence, and getting awarded an honorary citizenship to Saudi Arabia. Should I even say it? Brown people versus white people, where the brown people are the ones ahead of the white people. Looking over the state of the art in robotic technology, I'm convinced because the way America follows the money, we're 100 years behind Japan and China in robotics and computers in general. You do know that all of our computer stuff is made in China, right? If China ever decided to just shut off, America would be in the Stone Ages within months. Meanwhile, we got a crazy old geezer doubling down on making us more dependent on China than ever before in the White House. What could possibly go wrong? So now we come to ultra hyper realistic facial movement in robotics in Japan. They're working at the very minute details of slight smiles, slight frowns, glances to the right, glances to the left. Some might fear this, but this has to be. Humans have an innate fear of bodies moving in human-like form that aren't alive. It's called the uncanny valley. It is ingrained in us by nature. You cannot avoid it. However, if you make the form so perfect, even better than humanly perfect, that fear can be overcome. And this is why it is all started with hyper-realistic skin, hyper-realistic glances, hyper-realistic voices, and now hyper-realistic emotions. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Erica. Hello, Caleb. Your name is Caleb. Caleb. 
can you hear me? Execute gaze cycle. Caleb, can you smile for me? Hello, Actrix. Your name is Actrix. Actrix, can you hear me? Execute gaze cycle. Actrix, can you smile for me? Hello, Beatrix. Your name is Beatrix. Beatrix, can you hear me? Execute gaze cycle. Beatrix, can you smile for me? Hello, Datrix. Your name is Datrix. Datrix, can you hear me? Execute gaze cycle. Datrix, can you smile for me? Hello, Robotrix. Your name is Robotrix. Robotrix, can you hear me? Execute gaze cycle. Robotrix, can you... Does this one have a smile capabilities yet? 